Step three of the Lipkin method, keep your eye on the prize. In the crisis zone, it's easy to lose sight of what inspires and excites you. When you are fighting for your life, or at least when you think you are fighting for your life, envisioning your personal nirvana may appear to be an indulgence or an unaffordable luxury. I think it's the exact opposite. It's the light that guides you through the labyrinth. It's the lifeline that sustains your vitality, enthusiasm, joy, and commitment. Without an eye on your prize, your everyday minutia will consume you. The urgencies and emergencies will hollow you out and hang you out to dry. You know the feeling. It's called being tired, cynical, numb, overwhelmed, agitated, impatient, edgy, apathetic, frustrated, and I think I'll stop there. <laughs> I guarantee you that you are at your worst when you've lost sight of your dream. When you don't have a big, juicy goal, you are juiceless. <laughs> you are running on empty, and you can only redline for so long before you flatline out. You know, in 2002, I met with Nelson Mandela after I delivered a workshop to the staff running his foundation. I asked him how he got through 27 years of imprisonment with his spirit and his love of humanity intact. He told me, I prepared to live my life every day so that when I was released, I would transform my country into the kind of country I dreamt of it becoming. That's what I'm talking about. That's the size of dream required to drive your engagement so you bring all of the best of yourself to your life and the people in it. That's what's mobilizing me right now. My dream is to reach a million people this year, directly or indirectly, so they can be preeminent and inspire others to do the same. Now, I'm acting as though I've already achieved my dream. I'm experiencing that sense of bliss and fulfillment. I am CIAing. <laughs> I'm celebrating in advance. But I'm also doing whatever I need to do right now to make my prize a reality. A dream without action is nothing but a daydream. But action without a dream is a personal nightmare. <laughs> so what's your prize? What galvanizes you to take on the odds? How are you using your preeminence to the max? What's the vision that guides the way you look at the world? What are you already celebrating? How will it help everyone around you? Can you express it so clearly that the people around you can not only see it, but want to help you achieve it? Remember, the human mind cannot tell the difference between what's happening and what you imagine is happening. Ultimately, we're all living our own versions of reality anyway. For most of us, it's a hard, brutal slog. But for some of us, it's an inspiring, enlightening, exciting, worthy adventure. What's it for you? Choose your path and then take it. <laughs> Time to move on to step four.